Well, today's an exciting day. We're heading off from Townsville and we're making our way down to Lakeland uh, Caravan Park for the night where we catch up with the Grahams and then we head off down uh, to or up towards the Cape. So we're just going to pack up this morning and then we're going to head off for a seven hour drive. Time to hit the road! Farewell, Noel Jargo. Can definitely recommend if you want to still be in Townsville but get a little bit away from the hustle bustle because um, yeah, you're only a few minutes down the road from like um, BCF and Coles and everything else. So, no Jargo. I've been wanting to do the Cape for a very long time. It's probably not how I imagined doing it with a caravan and, and um, family in tow, but. It's gonna be better than you ever expected. It's gonna be way better. Probably do the chicken track, so. This drive is so nice. Oh, it, everything is so green. The clouds are in the mountains. It's bloody beautiful. Look at this. getting there because I've just done a stint of driving but Megan doesn't film while I'm driving so I, I keep getting comments to say do I ever drive what? I do <laughs> but uh, yeah hour and 40 we'll be there welcome to Lakeland we're here it's 6 30 it's already gone dark there is a pretty cool sunset Right, we're gonna get in and set up the van. It all starts tomorrow. So we spent a night last night in Lakeland and um, we're heading off today from here. There's a heap of vans parked here and I can only suspect it's so people park here and then head up the Cape without it. I hope that's not a sign of what's to come. Banana plantations out to this side. You've got the hills out to this side. You've got your bales of hay. Anyway, like a little crater here. We've got mountain ranges all around us. Some of them with the caravan on. Yeah, so I'm in a quick drink break at Han, Hans River, Han Station. Um, there's a little playground, shady spot, some place to buy a drink. A little refresher on the way through. Oh no! Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah! This handle's not stable! Don't get knackered. There goes Father's Day. No! Stop! <laughs> oh, That's no, what you no. get for doing it today. This handle is not on properly. Yay. This handle is only silicon non. Oh. Alright, good boy, go. Oh, that's hungry. weird for you. He just wants to drink water. Oh. We've just had a quick meeting, and even if we don't make it to Arches tonight, we're going to travel to about 4.30, pull up for the night, have a little fire, do a, maybe a potato cook-up, and uh, head off again. But we're just taking it slow today and enjoying the scenery. Time to hit the road. How quickly we got used to the blacktop. We're uh, just probably, I don't know how far an hour, the two hours in. We're two hours in, and um, this is what we can see. Day one in the cake. Rainy days don't seem so bad. Stormy nights don't stay. From the moment. This could be the best thing that I'll ever know mm -hmm. 
We are on the way towards Weeper and our destination for tonight will be Pennyfather, who, which um, was recommended to us by Trav and Ash, our friends. Well, how did you find the road between Cloan and Archer River Roadhouse? Bad. Bit rough? Yeah, a bit rough. Yeah, it was a rough old road, but what pressure are we running now? Oh, I'm just letting them back down to 25 hot. That's right, it's our first line of defence, isn't it, Aki? We just reached the turn off that says Cape York Pajinka. Let's go! We're getting there! Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> so had a quick beer at the Albatross Resort, and now we are heading to Pennyfather. So far the road into Pennyfather is quite rutted out, a bit of water damage and stuff, but uh, nothing compared to Honeymoon Bay, so That's good. smooth sailing. I told Megan she should stop in for a quick beverage. Beverage. Oh, that's better. Beverage. 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 Oh. See what she got. Oof. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, we spoke too soon before. There's some really corrugated bits towards the end, like a few k's out of camp. Um, but we're on the last two kilometers into camp now, and it's not too bad. 900 meters. Oh, 900 meters, sorry. It's really pretty too. The last five k's is definitely the worst though. It's not that actually that full. We're just going for a quick walk up the sand track to the beach just to make sure that the vans will get through because they're doesn't appear to be anywhere to turn around once you're on the road. Hopefully we'll get through. This is crazy, like this is all stuff that's washed up from Indonesia. Like all of the, all the stuff says it's in Indonesian, look. Hey guys, remember snakes? Yeah. I don't know about these flies though, I've got to say. Yeah, nah. Whew. They like you though. Oh, yeah. they love me. You don't like they can, them, but they, they can love tell I didn't have a you. shower this morning. <laughs> it was getting late, so we decided to set up camp behind the hills and then scout out a path for the beach camps in the morning. Good morning from Penny Father. We're going on a mission to find a different camp spot. I still reckon up oh, until here the van's are good, so. Yeah. Oh, so it was just where that little dot is there that we need to go to. That's where the around here was where that exit point was. We we're trying to get to was Pennyfather Beach Hilton. The hardest part was getting up on the sand. Once you're up there, it was pretty smooth sailing, but we mapped our path back nonetheless. All right, so now we just map our way back out. So if you keep keep going up, so we keep cruising up here. There were several access points to the beach camps. Uh, this is our first attempt using the main access, which is the road you come in on. Just with that weight of the caravan behind us, it proved to be pretty hard. After a few attempts here, we tried a couple of the other entrances. Unfortunately, we didn't have the camera for those and we got pretty badly bogged on the southern entrance. Uh, I think the only way into these would be to use a second vehicle with a winch and tow the vehicle with the caravan up and then switch once the first caravan's parked. Good to go. Well, we gave it our best shot. We tried taking the van to the beach and uh, we left the camera on Will's car because the plan was we were going to get him to follow us. We got pretty badly bogged as we were trying to get up onto the beach. I think the lessons we've learned from it were A, don't try and drive with the caravan handbrake on. B, uh, leave earlier in the morning. So if you have anything go wrong, then you've got time to, to get through. 
but we just made the call that we're only here for two nights and to be bogged and working till late tonight is just not going to be cool. All right, let's get to the Hilton. I think they're very close to home. Cool. Wow. Why do I need a shovel? This is it. This is what we were hoping to get to. Paradise. Pretty sad we didn't get through to be honest, but oh well, we'll find more. Finally got to have our sun down at 10. As the sun is literally going down. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to Pennyfather Rivermouth. Here we are. <laughs> that was a bit of fun. We uh, didn't catch any fish, but um, we had to move because the tide's coming up so quickly. So we're just going to head over to like, um, there's like a little lagoony sort of bit, which we're going to have a shot in. Also had a little bathe in the very shallow water because we could see that it was shallow for a fair way out. So we just sat in the shallow water and got cooled off while we're on the lookout for crocs. What's going on in this pond? I want to see the crocs. What croc? Apparently there's two huge crocs that live in there. There's like a dark patch just here close. I was just waiting to see if it moved at all. Oh yeah, there he is. Hey mate. Come on. He doesn't look very big, does he? There it is! Hey! Oh, he's gone down again now. He's definitely moving this way. Yeah. We're on the way back to start the fire. We didn't have much luck with the fishing. We did see that croc as you saw. Uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, we've had a lot of fun sand driving, like, oops, sorry, driving through the sand hills and um, exploring. And now it's time to go back and chill out. But Jack grumpy with us because he wants to do more fishing. We only did it for 15 minutes. Mm, well, and that's that's because the tide was coming in so I'm fast. I'm not being sarcastic. It actually was 15 minutes. Yay! It's our beautiful, beautiful home. Aww. It is our little home. A little road honey, home. we're home. All right, the kids are playing last to leave the rooftop. Who's gonna win? Ready to go. All right, where are we off to today? Morton Telegraph Station. Shit, nearly fell off the bottom of the ladder. Morton Telegraph Station. Looking yeah. for some grass, maybe some power. Tanya's not feeling heaps well today. She's got a bit of a uh, flu maybe. So we're going to try and find some comforts and uh, some showers and get ready for the next remote bit when everyone's feeling better. Yep. Oh no, go. I just broke my thong. And as we know with Megan, it wouldn't be a complete campsite until ahead. Megan's lost her set of thongs. <laughs> Time to hit the road! We've got a little a little problem on Will's van. His um water tank support. Round it, pull it up. Wait till we get to Weeper. Okay. Let's see if Weeper has a full uh full bracket. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. a full flat bar one that I can just buy and replace because they might sell spare water tanks and that in there. It's looking like it's not going to hold to get us through to Morton Telegraph Station. So we're actually just going to stay the night in Weeper at the caravan park, just have a feed at the Bolsey and get it all fixed up so that we can um, do the travel tea tomorrow knowing that we'll get there safe. The boys are hard at work. All under control? Uh, yeah, getting there. A little bit of uh, bush mechanics here. New strap for the water tank, which uh, found its way onto the road. Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> Luckily, he heard it because we were behind him and we didn't even see it. Oh, uh, we saw it was dust. <laughs> Nothing, a little bit of bush mechanics, right, fix. That's it. The boys have fixed the water tank problem. We've dusted some of the red dirt out, um, put some washing on. Now we're going to go for a swim at the pool and then we're going to have dinner at Baramunchu. Dad said give these to Mum and here they are. Am I the key keeper? Yep. Okay, thank you. Don't lose it. Oh, I'm in charge, gotcha. It's time to go to bed. Bedtime. I got something that to get the people on the floor.